All right, today we're going to take a look at long distance pipelines. There are three different ones. There are fluid, item, and power. So this is the fluid pipeline. You will need the endpoints. You'll need two of them. This is the item. And then there is the long distance go long distance transformer endpoints. And these are for power. We have all the way from EV to ULV, you also have the cables for each one of them. And they're not really that expensive of a recipe. So the EV is 10, 16x tin wire with some copper and aluminum shielding wrapped in rubber. IV, you got copper. LUV, you have Electrotine, there's another one, there we go, Electrum, that's the normal one, ZPM, you got Steel, ULV, you have Osmium. And basically with the long distance wires, you have a 0.125 EU per meter loss, but they can handle any amount of voltage you can send through them. Now, I'm going to show you how to set them up and then we'll go into the usage of them. So, basically, when you set them up, you need to have a destination that you want the items, fluid, or power going to. Place your endpoint off of that. You want the endpoint facing back towards the destination for any of these they're all set up basically the same way and then you just place your pipes or your wires and they just have to be touching they do not have to be straight and then you put your other endpoint again facing backwards towards its source and then you'll see I have this stuff up here I hit the lever, box is empty, and we come down here, and everything is down here. Now, a couple things you need to remember with this. One is what I just said. Always set your endpoints towards the source. It can be a little confusing if you uh, forget that, so that's the main thing to remember. You always run it towards the source. You can also uh, click it with a magnifying glass and it will tell you the target, which is the endpoint that will be receiving it. It will also tell you if it's not connected when you do that. The other thing is these pipes are not tile entities. They are just blocks. Nothing is going through this pipe. Basically, this pipe is just to tell you, tell this block that it's connected to that block. So, the nice thing about these is you can run them for thousands and thousands of blocks. And the only thing that has to be chunk loaded is the very ends of the pipe. So, that one needs to be chunk loaded. And that one needs to be chunk loaded. Anything in between does not. Now, I'm going to take you and show you my setup that I'm currently using with them. Hopes that it will help you uh, see how great these things can be. They are absolutely great to use with miniature nether portals. Uh, for anybody that doesn't know about miniature nether portals, they basically do the eight blocks thing that um, they they use the eight block thing in the nether for anybody that doesn't know the overworld in the nether are 
eight, a factor of ten, a factor of eight apart. So if you're in the overworld and you need the dimensions for your uh, where you're at in the nether, you divide it by eight, and that gives you your dimensions. Anyways, if we come up here, we're going to go down to my bedrock miner. For all my mess. This is my bedrock miner down here, and I have all of my power, fluid, and items ran through long distance pipes. Took a little bit to get them laid, but that means I lose very little power getting power down here. And I don't have to worry about if a chunk gets unloaded between them. Now, with this being more vertical than horizontal, I don't use the nether. But here's the bundle of the three coming through. Don't mind the void fog. All right, so there's my item one. As you can see, is coming from the source. It's the output of my bedrock miner. And then it goes up. This is my long-distance transport. Uh, cable which is just going into 8x platinum wires and it goes over here this motor down here to run it and then I have the fluid pipe going into a drum which is helping to automate the system make sure that it uh, isn't trying to run for no reason so right now it's currently off. So I'm sending energy and fluid down and items up. Basically how that's working. Then when we get upstairs, show you where the items are being dropped off to. But I also have a system in the nether, which we'll go look at here in a second when I get done with this that is more lateral I have a um, tungsten vein that is about 8,000 blocks that direction and I'm sending all of the material that I mine up there I go there and do it manually but I have a drop-off point that runs through my nether port my miniature nether portals. All right, so here is the item pipe that comes up and it drops off all that stuff into its designated uh, item barrels or mass storage. Okay, so now let's go into the nether. I will show you how I use the nether for this. I'll probably do a separate tutorial for miniature nether portals. This will be like a little sneak preview. Don't mind our ugly nether. I gotta take some a mod out of here that made our nether very ugly. But right here we have a long distance pipeline that is going that direction coming to the source and we get all the way over here all the way over here And it is pumping the nether. I don't normally pump the nether, but we wanted to test it. So that's what we did. We're using this lava for the, um, the heat exchanger. 
and that is how we're getting it back without too much and then right here is where I had the long distance item one but I've since taken it out because I ended that tungsten vein so I didn't need the item one any longer but I did have it in there so let me explain it let me show you the uh, the mini nether portal basically whatever you side you come in on is whatever side you need to, the opposite of what you need to come out on on the other side this way quicker so you'll see that this here is going into the top of the miniature nether portal and you'll see that my coordinates right here is 23 and negative 9. So if we go into the overworld, when we get to where the one it is that it's connected to, it will be exactly 8 times larger for the coordinate. It's on here. Pants from my butt over here. Gotta go back downstairs for this real quick. Right there is where it's coming from, or two. So you'll see when I stand under here, it's 189 and negative 70. And if you do the math, that is eight times the distance of the one in the nether. And you'll see that the one in the nether is coming in through the top. So here it's coming out the bottom. And you can do that exact same thing with the uh, using the long distance ones, just send the send them into the miniature nether portal, and then that will mean you only need the ends to be connected or chunk loaded. You can also just run them all the way across the overworld as well, but miniature nether portals will save you from having to make quite as many of these long distance item pipes which are you know electrum and plastic sheets you don't really want to have to make eight thousand of them when you can make a thousand of them a whole lot less electrum so uh, hopefully that helps if you guys have any questions concerns let me know I will do my best to answer it. You guys have a great day.